In this question, we're given that we have three one hectare fields. And each of them contains a various amount of, you know, uh, three types of wheat. So we have type one, type two, and type three. So field one is cut into three sections. So type one makes up one third of the field. Type two makes up one third. Here we have field two, and that's cut up into two sections. So each one is one half of the field. And we have another one half for type three, or field three. And so field one outputs, the outputs 12 tons, and field two outputs 10 tons, and field three outputs at 16 tons. And so the question here is, we have to describe this in the form of AX equals B, where X, X is given to us, and X1 refers to type one, and type two, and type three, and so forth, where X to the K is the yield per hectare in tons. So the easiest way to look at this, I mean, immediately when we have to put this in the form AX equals B, what we really think when we see AX equals B is that since this is a linear transformation, this is our modifier. This is our input. And this is our output. You know, this works for pretty much every matrix multiplication in this form. This is what we should really be seeing. We're, we're saying we put an input vector x, and we modify it by this matrix A, and then we get this output vector, which is B. So what can we say right off? I've just copy pasted this down here again. So we know that B is our yield. That's our output. It outputs 10 tons. It outputs 12 tons. So B, right off the bat, we could say that that equals 12, 10, and 16 where this is field one, field two, and field three. So how do we solve for A? Because we're given X, we need to solve for A. So A equals, we'll put this in form of a linear system. Linear system of equations. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say that in field one, we have one third of x1, because remember, x1 equals type 1. So in any linear system, we have x1, we have x2, x3, and what it equals, so the, the output. So I'll just write, out, I'll use uh, output, just so we can see what's going on. Okay, so when we write this, in field 1, we have 1 third of x1. So we go, x1 is 1 third. And type 2 makes up 1 third as well. And same with type 3, it's just 1 third. And how much does this equal? Well, this equals 12 tons. So you can see this is pretty similar to our other linear systems that we're more used to. Whoops. Now, for the second field, we have 0 x1. So we're just going to write 0. Then we're going to write 2. 2 is 1 half. And then we also have 1 half for type 3. And this whole thing equals 10 tons. So just go ahead and write this for the third one as well. We have 1 half, we have 1 half, and 0, and this equals 16 tons. So this is our system of linear equations. So in order to find A, to find A, we just take this part here. This is our modifier. So in order to answer the first part of the question, which is AX equals B, now we can write this as, let's just get another page. A equals one third, one third, one third, zero, one half, We have our x, which is x1, x2, x3. And this equals b, and we know that that is just 12, 10, and 16. And so in the second part of the video, I'm going to do part b of this question, which is solving for x. We're going to try and find out what that yield per hectare actually is, given this particular b solution.